Are you familiar with the legend of the cow-headed woman in Kobe, along with the famous Washinomiya Shrine in Nishinomiya? There are also rumors about Raku Mountain in Kobe. It's said a cow-headed female yokai chases cars and bikes at tremendous speed. The roots of this seem to be a rumor during WWII that a slaughterhouse owner's daughter had a cow's head, but she doesn't appear to attack people. You can easily find information on the truth of these rumors through an internet search. So I won't link anything here. Of course, locals are familiar with the story. And some risk a test of courage by visiting. My friend Day had heard rumors that a shrine on Rocco Mountain was haunted. So he went to test his courage, half jokingly. I don't know if it was a rumored shrine. But he said he found a shrine-like structure. As he approached, his headlights went out and his airshi started malfunctioning. So he quickly left, creeped out. A few years after I told me this, I heard a strange story from a different friend, or rather, she claimed to have experienced it herself. A few of us including myself, B and she, were gathered cooking hot pot at another friend's house, when somehow the topic turned to scary stories. I casually mentioned this cow-headed woman story. At that point B's expression clouded over. Making eye contact with me, she slowly began speaking. B, I went there too, probably the same place, with my boyfriend and she friends driving. In the distance, I could see the grounds and a Tory gate. Surprisingly spacious, I thought we could probably drive onto the grounds if we stayed in the car, so it wouldn't be as scary. G, no way, seriously? B, yeah. As we slowly drove in, I thought, since it was just a compact car, we could turn around and get out if anything happened. But before I knew it, the Tory was right in front of us. Past the gate I happened to glance ahead and something was off. I'd been looking ahead the whole time, but didn't notice until then. No, there absolutely wasn't anyone there before. B was acting strange. G. What was there? B. In the shrine grounds, around the offertory park. A woman crawling on all fours in a white kangano. The moment we all noticed her, it was like she lived up. She was Gometoru eaters, no Jumetoru eaters away, but in an instant landed on the hood. She, You saw her face? B. Her face looked human. But she had a lot of drool dripping down. G. What you do then? B. We tried to drive away. But the engine had somehow stalled. Lights and everything stopped working. We just huddled there frozen for a few minutes. She stared at all our faces. Eventually, we heard a sound like another car approaching and felt saved. That's when I noticed the engine had somehow started up again. I slapped my boyfriend who was driving. He slammed it into reverse, but she was clinging to the hood. The moment we passed the Tori going back, though she like, jumped with incredible force back onto the grounds, watching us the whole time. We shot out of there so fast she almost got hit by the other car, but didn't care, just leaped away. Afterwards we all went to Denny's and sat together until morning without saying a word. She Has anything happened to everyone since? Any accidents? B? No, nothing at all. She Let's stop talking about this. B? How? Oh, me? What you do? G? Under the Kotatsu over there. By the Kotatsu Le, a person in a kamino crawling, about 20 cm tall was there. Oh, I looked immediately, but nothing was there. B, what they look like? G, a girl. Or maybe an old lady. She wore a girl's kamino, but had an old lady's face. She was like, hiding by the Kotatsu Le, listening, Nin. I didn't see anything, and don't really believe in ghosts. Plus she was a bit of a drama queen. So I think she was embellishing to live up the atmosphere. But one thing I'm curious about is what my original friend A also said. Oh right, when we were freaked out trying to leave, there was a compact car that came flying out in reverse. Must have scared them too. Ha ha ha.